So the next thing we'll talk about security appliance modes. Now the most most of the modes what we use in the ASA firewall are similar to the router modes. Like we got some basic uh, unused unprivileged mode, or the user mode, privilege mode, configuration mode. Uh, we got something like router mode. Or uh, most of the modes are similar, and most of the commands are also similar. So if you are well aware with the router command line, we are will be using almost similar commands. There will be few slight changes, like uh, basically enable. Uh, by default, there's no password, but whenever you type, you type enable, it is going to prompt for the password. You just need to press enter to go to the next mode. Of course, there is a global uh, configuration mode. We can go to the global configuration mode by using a config t command, and then we can get into the interface mode. Of course, we can go to router mode. There will be a slight difference in the commands like by using router RIP. We can also use tab buttons to auto complete the command. We can use shortcuts instead of uh, typing the complete command. We can simply say interface G0 by 0. You can also use IWS help more similar to the routers. So there's no much difference, uh, like few few differences. Like, like here I got an ASA in my GNS3. So if I exit back, probably this is the first mode what you'll see. So I'll be using enable and just press enter without any password and i use show generally in routers we use show ip interface brief so here we'll be using show interface ip brief and i do have some basic configuration already in, into my into my asa firewall here of course uh, the commands are almost similar we will be using like show version command ping trace of course enable by default there's no password if you want to set the password we use this command enable password or I think we can also use enable secret. So let me let me try enable secret. Command. Yeah. So enable. You just use enable password here. And the next thing is uh, in routers generally you cannot use show commands in the configuration mode. If you want to use show commands, we'll be using do show. Uh, maybe in the new iOS version it supports, but probably here we can use all the show commands and also use the iOS help inside the global configuration mode. So we can use and and one more thing you need to uh, if you want to whenever you use question mark generally you'll see more options and if you want to come back to the command line you have to press Q quit and that's a that's the key we need to type it here Q to quit and come back to the command line so slight changes we can use like show running config command to see the running configurations uh, at the same time I can use show startup configurations to verify my startup configurations the configurations which i saved and and mostly the same thing you know we will be seeing uh, more and more commands as we progress but uh, technically you know when you when you're already aware of the router command line you don't need to really learn any new commands but definitely there will be some changes as we go ahead with the with the configurations uh, we'll be seeing more and more uh, configurations as we progress with the with the advanced topics